tune that uh, was sung by Herb Jeffries with the Duke Ellington, Duke Ellington Orchestra, a big hit, Flamingo. I ran into her many, many years ago out in Las Vegas after some shows that I was doing and he was doing, and he was known as the bronze bookaroo in the films and the movies. He was a, a, a black gentleman and he uh, was a cowboy star. But anyway, he started out as a singer and he was with Duke Ellington for a long while. And he was flying in a private plane from one concert to another one from Ellington. And the plane went down and he got all bones all crushed up and everything. So they took him to Detroit, according to him telling me, and they pinned him up with his feet in the air for a year and a half. And he, during that time, he couldn't really move. So his mother would come in to see him. And she knew he liked uh, a lot about the Himalayas and things. So she got in contact with a guru. And a fellow came in and brought him some books and things and started talking to him. And by the time he left uh, the uh, hospital, he decided to go to the Himalayas. And so he told me a story of going over there and, and meeting up with some Sherpas and they were going to take him, the guides were going to take him up to see the uh, head man. And uh, they, and it was cold, but as long as he was near them, the, he would be warm. He stayed warm and it was amazing to him. And they went up to the, up the mountains and they got to the top and. And he was there a couple of days, and one morning he got up and he looked out a window, and there was a little pond, he said, in the middle of this little plaza area. And he saw these little kids come walk, marching out one after the other, and they went walked down into that pond. And he watched, and they didn't come out for about 15 minutes. They were sitting down at the bottom of that pond. He was totally amazed. So he things like this, he talked to the to the head man about, and the guy told him, well, that's, you have to believe and you have to uh, uh, give your heart to all this sort of thing. So later on, he was telling the fellow that he, he loved entertaining. He really enjoyed entertaining. And the guy said, well, maybe that's your calling in life. Maybe you should go back to that. Maybe that's the way you're going to serve is through your entertaining. So he came down from the Himalayas and went back to singing again and, and the movies and things. and. He was a very, very interesting fellow, had a beautiful, big, deep bass voice, and he was telling me a lot about the Baha'i faith, because that's what he'd kind of been into at that point in time. So anyway, that's how that goes. I was telling him a little bit about what little I knew about the uh, Christian science, because I had talked a lot with Don Van Palter, the fabulous uh, plectrum banjo player, when we were playing together in, in Disneyland in California. And we discussed at the end quite a bit, all that kind of stuff. Early morning, we'd sit in his car. He'd drive me home to Garden Grove there, very near, and we'd sit and talk a lot. He's a very interesting fellow. Don, if I don't see you again, why, it's, it's great to have known you. Bye for now.